Welcome back. Imagine waking up one morning to find out that you're dead. It's not a horror movie. It's the stark reality for a number of South Africans who've had their identity stolen. Home Affairs admits identity theft remains prevalent in this country. I've been declared deceased. This couple's life... <laughs> it's been very difficult. ...a living hell. This death certificate, an authentic Home Affairs document states that Johannes Meyer died last year of natural causes. But here he sits, very much alive. But his state of health took a knock when this email arrived from a financial services company informing them that their monthly retirement annuity would not be paid following Johannes's death. I'm really concerned because I've got no life. I can't leave the country. I've got nothing to do. I don't uh, receive my, my monthly income from a pension fund. We've got kids that live in Namibia. So if we have to travel, uh, his passport's going to come up, he's deceased. My concern is if something happens to Jan tomorrow and he really dies, what, what will happen? It's, it's going to be a nightmare to try and prove that he only died now. Okay. The mayor's okay. belief yeah. they've fallen victim okay. to a scam. Identity theft has been a thorn in the side of the Department of Home Affairs, while well, it's also costing the economy about 2 billion rand annually. But the department claims that its counter-corruption unit has dealt a significant blow to fraud and corruption. According to the latest Home Affairs figures, 123 cases of fraud and corruption against officials have been finalised for disciplinary hearings since July last year. And 37 officials and foreign nationals have been arrested. The people involved in these cases um, have uh, been involved in both civic and immigration uh, services, uh, whether they are defrauding the permitting system or issuing fraudulent documents or trying or seeking bribery from our clients and uh, involved in a number of other activities. We published the names of the people who had been successfully convicted working in the department. Gigaba insists that the number of officials involved in fraud and corruption has dropped. Chris Alder Lewis, SABC News in Johannesburg.